Today, I will tell you all about my robot Neptunian, which is in the official LEGO Mindstorms app. Ever since I saw that people were designing bonus models for the NXT, being a designer of an official Mindstorms model has always been a dream. Neptunian is a project that I've been working on for a while. In fact, here's my very first prototype of the robot. Originally, I had the front covered completely with panels, and it was able to shoot the missiles separately. On the prototype, the hub was at the rear, which sort of looked like a backpack. However, I realized that having the hub at the front would make the robot more interactive and more fun to play with. As a result, I designed the following prototype, which looks a lot like my final design. After changing a few internal structures and moving the panels around, I settled on my current design, and I began making the building instructions. Believe it or not, I actually went through many different versions of the instructions before I arrived at the one you see in the app. This was honestly one of the most challenging parts of the project, since the building process had to be carefully considered. In my first set of instructions, the robot was buildable, but in between steps, a lot of parts were flimsy. I had to make sure that nothing moved around and that everything would be sturdy even in between steps. Now let's take a look at all of the functions. When you start the program, the robot will synchronize and he will display a U, which stands for Unbrick Me. If you press the left button, the robot will spin around randomly, searching for the target. Once it has been located, he will do a countdown, open his head, and launch two missiles at the target. Isn't that just incredible? The head opening mechanism is absolutely fascinating. It just uses the following motor positioned here, and by using a combination of beams, it directly connects to the head. The shooting mechanism works by the rear motor simply pressing on the launchers. Do you like these mechanisms? Please let me know. Now let's look at the second mode, which can be activated by pressing the right button. Essentially, Neptunian will enter the obstacle avoidance mode. He will perfectly avoid any walls or other stationary objects, but the moment you put your hand in front of him, he will do a countdown and activate the shooting mechanism. It is just a single ultrasonic sensor here, so how exactly is it able to distinguish the difference between a regular wall and your hand? Well, I'm very proud of this program. Basically, once you start it, Neptunian will measure the distance. The distance is divided into thirds. If the ultrasonic sensor reports seeing something in the last third, the robot will keep moving forward. If he sees something in the second third of the measured distance, he will randomly turn either left or right. Remeasure and divide the distance again, repeating the program. Finally, if the robot sees something in the first third, he will activate the shooting mechanism. To put it simply, the robot basically avoids any expected obstacles, while firing at the unexpected obstacles that suddenly appeared in front of the ultrasonic sensor. As a bonus functionality, if the robot is just idling, meaning the program has started but you haven't selected a mode, you can actually wave your hand in front of the ultrasonic sensor, which will open his head, allowing you to reload the bullets. I am so proud of my model Neptunian, and it took a lot of effort to perfect it. Please show your support for me by building this model. Also, keep in mind that by the end of the year, the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor set will be discontinued and gone forever. But you can still buy it on the LEGO website, so get it before it's too late. And make sure to build my official model found in the community tab of the app. I am just so proud to have played a significant role in the history of Mindstorms, and this especially feels so rewarding because I've been playing with LEGO Mindstorms since 2009. I would also like to thank the entire LEGO Mindstorms team for making this project possible. Thank you very much. This is Yoran Brickme here and I'll see you in the next one.